I'm gonna try to keep this as short and sweet as possible. I'd like to give everybody an update as to my health, but I also don't really have much of an update to give. As many of you will know, I have had a disability in my wrists for the past few years. Um, it'll be two years next January. No, I'm not celebrating that anniversary. I recently got the same disability in my ankles, which has just been buckets of fun. I stepped away from social media because it was starting to be a bit too much with everything else, and I needed to focus on my own health, uh, mental and physical. Um, mentally, I'm feeling a lot better. Physically, not so much. I have found ways of functioning, which is great. Mainly until I get to see the rheumatologist, which isn't until the spring. I am looking for ways to cope with the pain levels and function as much as possible um, without being in gobs of pain later. So um, to that end, I have some lovely mobility aids. I now use a wheelchair when I'm out. I use a walker when I go with the dog. And overall, it, it helps my ankles a lot. And it helps my mental health because I'm not stuck in the house. So I mean, I'm, I'm sure you were all hoping for a little bit of a better update. And I'm cured or at least on the way to being cured update. But uh, more and more, um, as this... Um, chronic pain just keeps going, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking at it realistically. Um, I'm still very happy with my life and I'm still very happy with who I am as a person. It has nothing to do with whether or not I can walk 500 feet. So, I mean, I don't know, I've got the tools to handle this, but um, would I like to not be in pain? Sure. That'd be, that'd be great. Obviously, this has impacted my writing. Lady Catherine fans, we're through um, the editing stage of the fifth Lady Catherine, so now we're scheduling it um, to come out uh, sometime early next year. I'm super excited about that. But although Leanne and I have discussed some brainstorming for book six, we haven't yet started writing it because my health is, is just not uh, been the greatest, especially the past few weeks. But I'm hoping that come my springtime rheumatology appointment, uh, it'll start to turn around and I'll be able to get more back into the normal swing of things. In terms of my other books, the pirate novella is completely ready to go. In fact, you should be getting an email from me very shortly if you are um, in my newsletter. And uh, because I have ARCs to give out. If you're not in my newsletter and you would like an ARC, comment. Um, I have a limited number that I can give out, but if I happen to be able to squeeze you in, I will contact you. Absolutely. And I've also started writing another book. I've started dictating another book. When I start actually editing that dictation is when we might want to call me writing it, because that's when it takes wrists. But I'm really enjoying um, the creative process of trying to figure out how to get this book the way I want it. I, I think that's definitely a sign that my mental health is turning for the better, um, which does mean that I will be able to start coming back on social media a little bit. Um, I don't intend to be going back to the same extent that I used to, um, especially because I need that extra time for my wrists to do other things, but I miss talking to a lot of people that I used to talk to on Twitter and Instagram and um, sometimes Facebook. Um, we all know that I'm a little bit of a slacker when it comes to Facebook. One thing I will say is that I have the most fantastically supportive people in my life. Um, I don't know how much I've, I've talked about the people in my life, but um, my mother comes and helps me clean my house, which is just so amazing, especially on weeks when I, I just can't get off the couch because it hurts too goddamn much. And when I started getting dizzy spells and feeling really, really bad, uh, my dad, who's also disabled, rushed over here with his glucose meter to check and see if I might be getting diabetes like him. I'm not. I will say that is kind of a relief because it runs in the family. I always have my sister, who is a nurse, checking up on me all the time. And she also comes over and plays Pokemon with me, so, you know, that's great. She's gonna have a baby soon. 
My partner Mark is also really fantastic and uh, he helps me out a lot. And of course Edgar. Who could forget the baby? Nobody. And so yeah, I am, I am surrounded with a bunch of fantastic people um, who help me when I am feeling not so great and I am strong enough to get through my bad days, you know? So that's my update. Um, I was kind of wanting to do this as a little bit of a newsletter type thing where I can give you some interesting history tidbits and, and maybe a glimpse into my work in progress. But to be honest, I haven't had a great month health-wise, so I just don't have the energy for that. But I really do want to. I might put something together like that um, for January if December treats me okay. And since it's no longer National Novel Writing Month and I'm not running um, several events a week, I think that I'm probably going to be in better shape in December than I was in November. I would like to wish everybody a happy holiday season, a happy new year filled with lots of books, and I will update you again in the spring when I hopefully have some answers. <laughs> and in the meantime, I kind of give many updates on how I'm feeling every weekend um, whenever I film my reading vlogs. So, I look forward to that. Until next time, happy reading. I know he's super cute.